Thank you for Lumericle to organize this webinar sessions. And thank you for giving us the opportunity to speak about low loss silicon nitride and uh, Leichentech. Leichentech is located in Lausanne, Switzerland, near EPFL, close to the shore of Lake Geneva. Our focus is to use LPCVD silicon nitride to manufacture photonic integrated circuits, which enables very low loss circuits. In addition to that, we are able to fabricate very thick film silicon nitride, which ensures a very small footprint because the bending radius of such a device can be very small as the mode is entirely confined in the waveguide. To motivate those who are not familiar with photonic integration, I will explain what we can do with photonic integration. We can miniaturize complex optical systems and devices. I took an example here from a metrology site where we see a frequency comp setup, how it looked like in the 1990s. <clears throat> and from there, it became a commercial product through Menlo Systems in 2008. Here you don't see anymore all the cables and connections, but uh, it's still quite heavy and non-portable. With photonic integration, you want to bring that down to a cubic centimeter, and that is done within the course project, where several companies and universities are working together to bring different technologies in one device using photonic integration, which makes it less complex, more powerful, and does not have any movable parts. Silicon photonics, as we know it today, is present in data centers, in telecom, for metro applications, and also in, in medical applications. There are many more applications that can benef benefit from silicon photonics or advantages of silicon photonics. However, silicon photonics itself has a high pro production cost, high propagation losses, and low optical power handling. So you get two photon absorption and silicon photonics. Furthermore, it has a narrow transparency window and O coupling is, is cumbersome or expensive because you have to deal with a very small mode field diameter because of the higher refractive index of silicon. If you go to silicon nitride, you can still fabricate that in a CMOS fabrication line. However, you get 10 times better propagation losses and 100 times better um, power handling. If you want to put more than tens of milliwatts, you don't suffer from two photon absorption. In addition, you will have a seven times broader transparency window and very good capabilities for IO coupling to couple the fiber or the chip to your nitride waveguide. We use thick film silicon nitride that acts as a game changer here because suddenly you can benefit from the very small bending radiuses like in silicon but also from the properties of nitrides with very low loss. So we combine both the low loss and the small chip size, which results in a very high yield if you fabricate on a wafer platform. In addition to that, we offer modules for further integration, meaning that we develop modules that can save cost and power and packaging or by, by adding other devices into our platform. For those who are not very familiar with how the PIC value chain looks like, I will explain the photonic integrated circuit value chain. You start with the design, either you do that in-house in or you use a design house. There are several software providers such as Lumerical that have solutions for modeling a, a building block, a circuit, or help you to do the layout of the design. Then you fabricate a chip. And this is where we have our core expertise with a fast turnaround. You package the chip that goes into a module which is integrated into a system. We want to make our customers the transition from the PIC idea to the final PIC module very easy. To do that, we work with design houses, software providers and packaging houses and offer you a complete value chain in that aspect. In addition, we can do very fast prototyping in less than two months, and we can scale up our produ production from that prototyping volume to several thousands of wafers. You as a customer send us the specs or a layout to do a design. Here you can use IP blocks that we designed, 
fabricated and tested before. Then you get known good dyes back from us. If you want, we can also offer uh, testing and assembly through our partners. Then you can integrate that chip in different products such as telecom, medical products or in a system like LiDAR. To offer a very fast and cost-efficient entry point to get to know our technology, we offer multi-project wafer runs, where several companies and uh, our customers share the, the costs of one wafer and they can design their circuit using our process design kit. Always the circuit IP and the layout IP will both stay with the customer. Internal turnaround times are approximately two months. Then the customer gets the test and measurement report of the fabrication and gets the chip delivered. <coughs> we offer these MPW runs four times a year, every three months, and have two wavelengths that we address in this MPW. One is 1550 nanometer and the other one is in the visible range. And the difference is that we adapt the height of the thickness of the silicon nitride for that. If you want to check for, for the future dates, these can be found in our, in our website. We also offer dedicated runs that can start anytime and you can send us a, a design that is compatible with all the modules that we offer. Here, also, you have the option to not just order one wafer, but to, to order a full batch of wafers. All the fabrication lots are having inline quality assurance for geometry of the waveguides and optical quality assurance by testing optical performance of test structures. Technology is based on individual modules and gives the flexibility to address special requirements. For waveguide layers, we have two standard based processes, one for visible and one for near infrared applications, where we have PDKs with tested building blocks available. In addition, custom thicknesses are possible. On top of the base waveguide process, advanced modules um, are available, such as the ability to realize multi-level waveguide structures connected by optical wires, metals to realize thermo-optical tuning, and local cladding opening for sensor applications or heterogeneous integrations of 3.5 materials. Our process design kit offering means that we design, fabricate, and test certain components and offer those to our customers. A few examples are shown here. For example, a spot size converter to increase the mode field diameter to 10 micron, to couple it efficiently to an SMF28 fiber. All kinds of passive building blocks look like low loss delay lines and splitters and thermal tuning elements such as M MZIs, phase shifters or tunable ring resonators. A simple but important building block is a power splitter. Here the example of a cascaded multi-mode interfer uh, interfer interference coupling. This MMI was developed with a target splitting ratio of 72-28. The first run already resulted in a ratio of 71-29, which is a very good result for a first design fabrication iteration. Good fabrication control is a key requirement to achieve first time right designs. The next building block is a delay line interferometer. The length of the delay line is a critical performance since it relates directly to, to the pr precision of your, of your measurements. With the low propagation loss and the short bend radius, delay lines of a meter can fit on a surface of 5 by 5 uh, millimeter. Furthermore, Due to the small band radius, we can fabricate very small AWGs, aroid waveguide gratings. Compared to thin film silicon nitride, these can be up to 300 times smaller in size and occupying much less space on the chip. This does not only work for telecom or data telecom wavelengths, but also in the visible range, as silicon nitride is also transparent here. For sensing applications, good crosstalk is needed, which we get here. 
In this slide, we have phase shifters based on thermal tuning. The heating structures are very close to the highly confined waveguides, giving efficient tuning. In this example, a ring resonator with 500 gigahertz line spacing has been shifted by two nanometers. Multiple pi shifts are possible with approximately 100 milliwatt per pi shift. We recently had released a new heater material that can actually tune such a ring resonator by four than four, more than four nanometers. For Marzender interferometer, tuning of several pi shifts uh, is possible. Here we used Lumerical as a design software to optimize the distance of the heater material to the waveguide and to get a simulation about the heating effect of the heater on the silicon nitride. On that slide, I show you an example of hybrid integration through bonding, which was shown in a collaboration between EPFL in Switzerland and UCSB and US, where we put a lithium niobate bonded piece on top of the silicon nitride waveguide. What happens is that we design the taper <clears throat> of the silicon nitride in such a way that we can couple the optical mode from the silicon nitride into the lithium niobate and use, in this case, the functionality of the second harmonic generation in the lithium ion bag. We can also bring this a step further where we connect different chips next to each other. Here the advantage of silicon nitride is that we can engineer our modes to mode match a predefined mode, for example for a laser output. Their coupling losses can be as low as 0.5 dB if we are able to match the laser output very tightly. On the other, other side, we can also engineer the modes to couple to an SMF fiber that lowers the coupling loss from the SMF fiber. With that, I want to switch to application examples where we can use silicon nitride for. For example, bion gas sensing. You benefit from silicon nitride to have a low loss light propagation and to have a transparency window from 400 nanometers up to 3 microns. Here you use the fact that in your opening area your evanescent field of the mode can interact with a gas or a molecule and there you sense the difference in refractive index. Another application is for example an optical phase array where you put in a light and usually for that kind of application you need a lot of power. So several hundreds of milliwatts or even several tens of watts that you can put into, your, into our chip and you split the power and then with an optical phase shift can tune the phase of the output of these antennas. Like that you can see a beam in, you can steer a beam in this phase. A very unique application for thick film silicon nitride is benefiting from a nonlinear property. If you put the femtosecond laser into the silicon nitride chip, you can generate a supercontinuum that could be used, for example, for atomic clock uh, measurements. Here we have shown the supercontinuum can be spread from the visible uh, from 500 nanometers to almost 4 microns by pumping it at the 1550 nanometer wavelength. A further example is spontaneous 4-wave mixing. Here you need the key component that we offer, which is a high quality uh, uh, factor ring, uh, ring resonator. In MPWs, we guarantee that the quality factor is above 1 million. Here you put a CW laser in a straight waveguide and couple that to, to this high Q resonator. And this resonator, as you lined, is confined by this high, uh, interacts uh, with a material that has a slight nonlinearity. Like that, you can generate out of two photons from one wavelength, um, two photons often two different wavelengths which we call a spontaneous four-wave mixing. We can even go a step further where you take uh, degenerate four-wave mixing and non-degenerate four-wave mixing, where you can then populate all the resonances of a resonator <clears throat> and 
which expands to a frequency comp. The, the span uh, of the frequency comp you can control with the dispersion of the waveguide, which is controlled by the thickness and the height of the ring. Using this kind of technique, we have shown together with a consortium of researchers uh, in, at, in UCSB, UVA, NIST, and many more, uh, to be able to fabricate a uh, subhertz laser with integrated photonics. Here, what is used is such a frequency comp <clears throat> to lock a tunable laser that makes it possible to step this tunable laser by only a, a, f a few millihertz. This is quite amazing because the wavelength you operate is around 200 terahertz, but you step with this precision of a few millihertz. In that, the orders of magnitude of difference is with the, is in comparison to, to distance, if you move a hair with the precision of a hair between the earth and the sun. With this, I would like to conclude um, pointing out that for silicon photonics 2.0, we see that low loss compact silicon nitride um, is offering a, a game changer in many technologies. We have prototype and volume capabilities offering fast turnarounds and MPWs to get to know our te technology and to have a very fast prototype cycle. And these high confinement waveguides allow to propagate a lot of power to have a very low loss and small band radius. Thank you very much.